So fractional octal to hexadecimal conversion is just a four step process and in this video we are going to learn all these four steps. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, here it is our octal number 605.23 which we are going to convert into hexadecimal number. And in order to convert this, we are going to use this octal to hexadecimal conversion table. So first of all, we are going to take the whole number part that is 605 and we are going to convert the 605 into hexadecimal number. So in first step, we are going to convert this octal number into binary number. And remember, each single digit octal number can be represented using three digit binary number. So all octal number we are going to write in three digit binary manner. So what is the binary equivalent to this phi? That is 101. So we'll write it over here. What is binary equivalent to this 0? That is 000. So we'll write over here. What is binary equivalent to this 6? That is 110. So we are going to write it over here. And now we are going to combine these numbers together. So our final number is 1100001. And now we are going to convert this binary into hexadecimal number. And in order to achieve that, we are going to create a set of four digits from this side. Why set of four? Because each hexadecimal number could be represented using four digit binary number. So now let's create a set of four digits from this side. It is our first set of four digits that is 0101. So ultimately 0101 is 5 because it is three digit binary. If you convert it in four digit binary, we are going to add one zero over here. So 0101 and that hexadecimal equivalent is 5. So we are going to write 5 over here. Now we'll go for the next set of 4 digits that is 1000. And what is hexadecimal equivalent to this? 1000 is 8 in hexadecimal. So we are going to write 8 over here. Now here we have only one number. But we have discussed that in order to convert binary to hexadecimal, we need a set of 4 digits. So what we'll do? We'll add 3 zeros over here. And by adding three zeros on left hand side, we are not going to change its magnitude. So now this is our set of four digits and 0001 is ultimately one. This is 0001 binary and its hexadecimal equivalent is one. So now here we are going to write one. So this 185 is the hexadecimal equivalent to this 605. So the whole number part has been converted to hexadecimal and now it's time for the fractional number part. So we'll write the fractional number part over here. So now we'll convert this fractional number part into hexadecimal. The process will remain same, but there is only one difference. In fractional number part, we'll start from this side and we'll move on right hand side. So we'll start with two. So what is the binary equivalent to two? It is one zero. So instead of one zero, we are going to write zero one zero. So here zero one zero. And the next digit is 3, it is 1, 1, but instead of 1, 1, we will write 0, 1, 1. So it is 0, 1, 1. Now we are going to combine these numbers together. And now this is a complete binary number and we are going to convert it to hexadecimal number. And now we are going to start to create a set of four digit and that will start from this side. So this is our first set of four digit 0, 1, 0, 0. So ultimately this 0, 1, 0, 0 is 4 in hexadecimal so we are going to write 4 over here now here we have only two digits so what we'll do for fraction number part if you had two zeros after this it will not going to create any change in its magnitude so remember this always for fraction number part you can add zeros on right hand side and for whole number part you can add zeros on left hand side which will not going to create any change in its magnitude. So now here we have a set of four digits 1100 and uh, here 1100 is hexadecimal equivalent is C. So we are going to write C over here. And now it's time to combine these numbers together. So 185.4C is the hexadecimal equivalent to this octal number. The process is quite simple octal number into binary number and then binary number into hexadecimal number. This is the simplest process. Now here on your screen you can find several octal fractional number and you supposed to convert it into hexadecimal number. Quickly solve it and write the answer in comments below and let's see how quick you are in solving this. And now we are going to convert fractional hexadecimal number into octal. And this is our fractional hexadecimal number and we are going to convert it into octal number using this octal to hexadecimal conversion table. 
So first we'll take whole number part C and B and in this whole number part we'll start with the B. So what is the binary equivalent to B? That is 1011. So we are going to write 1011 over here. The next is C. So binary equivalent to C is 1100. So we are going to write 110 over here. And then combine these numbers together. It is 11001011. So this whole number part is converted into binary. Now we'll convert this binary back into octal number. And when we convert back into octal number, we supposed to create a set of three binary digit to convert it into single digit octal number. So now here we'll start from this side and create a set of three digits 011. So 011 is nothing but three in octal. So we are going to write three over here. The next set of three digit is 001. So that is ultimately 001 is one in octal. So we'll write one over here. And now here we have only two digits. So just remember what I have said previously to convert binary into octal, you're supposed to have three digits. And when you have only two digits, you're supposed to add one zero on left hand side. So here we have a set of three digits. It is 011 and 011 is three. So we are going to write three over here. So octal conversion of whole number part is completed. Now it's time for fraction number part. So 07 is our fraction number part and in fraction number part we'll start from this side. So we'll start with zero. So now we'll convert this zero into hexadecimal and the binary equivalent to this hexadecimal zero is 0000. zero, zero, zero. So we'll write this over here and then the next number is seven. And what is the binary equivalent to seven? It is one, one, one. But instead of this three digit representation, we'll use a four digit representation. So we'll write zero, one, one, one. And now we'll combine these numbers together and we'll create an entire number. So now it's time to convert this binary number back into octal number. And for that, we'll use a set of three digits. And in fraction number part, we'll start from this side. So the first set of three digit is 000, zero, zero and the octal equivalent to that is zero. So we are going to write zero over here. The next set of three digit is 001 and 001 is one in octal. So we are going to write one over here and now here we have only two digits. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to add one more zero over here and now our set of three digit is ready. So a set of three digit is 110 and what is octal equivalent to 110? That is 6. So we are going to write 6 over here. And now let's combine these numbers together. It is whole number part and it is fractional number part. So 313.016 is the octal equivalent to this binary number. And to explore more similar conversions, you can refer this number system playlist. And to expand your knowledge in digital electronics, through animated videos, you can refer these playlists. So see you into the next video.